The future of Apple is here. And today it's all about Apple's WWDC that literally just happened, their worldwide developer conference where they talked about all the new software that's coming out. They talked about some new hardware, some new Macs, new MacBook Air, all that stuff, all well and good. But I'm not gonna talk about that right now. I'm gonna talk about the bread and butter, yes, what they revealed at the end, the one more thing. The Apple Vision Pro augmented reality headset. I've talked about it plenty of times on this video and it's finally here. But what's so cool, the lens in the front is actually see-through. You can see the eyes of the person. They dim in and out depending on what content you're viewing because this is all about, like I said, augmented reality. So when you put on the headset, you can see the space that you're in clearly, at least according to the videos that they showed, versus putting on the headset and then viewing like a digital world, like the MetaQuest works. So people can be in the room around you and you can see them laughing at you because you still look ridiculous with this headset on. And as we expected, this is being powered by an M2 chip, so this is gonna be very powerful. And they confirmed you're gonna be able to run thousands of iPhone and iPad apps right from the jump. No integration or anything like that's going to be required. But for those who want, they can adapt their apps specifically for the Apple Vision Pro interface. According to Apple, everything will be navigated through your eyes, your hands, and your voice. But there are two other ways to control the headset. There is a button you can press, I believe, at the top left of the headset. And on the other side, there is a digital crown, just like on the Apple Watch. And with the singular button on the top, they showed how you can use that to take what they call spatial photos and spatial video. As far as some other features, pretty similar to what other headsets can do. You can view and watch movies, listen to music, and say if you are watching a movie, you're in your living room, you can extend that view, but still have your living room as your environment, so you kind of still feel like you're in that space. But you do have the option to add in a different 3D environment. So you can watch it in space and in whatever location, just like you can on other headsets. So I like how you can kind of choose whether to be in reality, sci-fi element place or whatever. And with this new headset comes new software that they call Vision OS, where they just released all the tools that developers will need to create their own apps, adapt their current apps to work with the Apple Vision Pro. And now going back to how this thing looks, yes, it looks really cool and futuristic, but it still does have like that classic kind of clunky VR headset feel to it. But as soon as they showed this thing, I noticed the cable running down the person's back with the battery pack they're trying to hide in their pocket or whatever. So yes, this will have an external battery pack that they said will last about two hours. Once I break down what this thing can do, I can easily see the Apple Vision Pro taking over the iPhone, replacing your computer, your iPad, everything. This is going to be the future. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are you excited about this? Is the Apple Vision Pro the future of Apple or do you still not care?